let's say, eight shot shows. A few, a handful or so. Where would you say, if you come to Vegas every year, what do you have to go do? What restaurant do you have to go eat at? Oh, well, first things first, you send a humidifier to your room. Oh, my gosh. That's a, that's a pro move right there. I did that this year. Absolutely, it's awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, that's a really great question. I usually go sushi. Okay, but like over sushi Caesar's samba? At, or? Uh, I go to Caesar's oh, sushi Rock. Roku, yeah, Roku or? or Roku or whatever it's called. Sushi Shop so can get a little crazy. If it's so. in Caesars, it's Sushi Roku. Is that one? Uh, yeah. That's one of them. That's, see, that's an every year thing for me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's like an every Thursday night shot show, I'm at Sushi Roku. There you go. All right. Usually I'm Wednesday on that. But. Okay, well, we're just ships passing in the night. There we go. All right, I'm with Tom Victor of Palmetto State Armory, and this Gun Talk Live is brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. Tom, give us a little background on Palmetto State Armory and what you guys do, because you guys do... Everything, everything from everything. manufacturing guns to selling guns to selling optics, ammo. You guys have it all. Uh, yeah, man, we try, we try. So if you if you rewind the clock, you know, I've been on here with the team about a year and a half. Yeah. But if you go all the way back 15 years ago or so, selling ammo online. Yeah. And then that was doing great. And hey, you know, how do you take the next step? And what we're going to talk about a lot today is taking even more steps. But sell, yeah. selling a little bit of ammo, then you sell a little bit of parts, and then you go, wait, why don't we just build guns? Well, does it make it? Too on ammo on a website listen there's a lot that goes into this well when you hit it in 2008 you know. yeah that's true that's that's like selling a home in you know exactly 2022 like yeah i hope so <laughs> but, but no uh, just continuing to grow that e-com and then running into hey you know what why don't we build ars yeah we sell all the parts and then yeah. after you do that and the rest is easy uh yeah that's our problem right <laughs> So that's yeah, that's Tom's problem to handle. He has to deal with that. No, um, but so the, the growth's been amazing, and you got the econ, the retail, yeah. and now building guns, and talk a lot about concepts. So now. let's so yeah. So we're gonna like so everything we're showing here is is conceptual. Vote. I have a vote. You have a vote. Everyone has a vote, and you can vote for like how they prioritize these. And what their focus is going to be moving towards, which I have, I'll be honest with you. I know I hear a lot of companies talk about, you know, we listen to our customer and it's really good and we want to take what you have, but I don't think anybody's actually put it to a vote. I can tell you, I've never seen it. And no. that's, that's what I'm excited about being here at PSA. So. Yeah. Well, it like, and so it's not just for people at the show voting. You guys can go vote. So I want you guys to go vote. After this, you watch this and then go vote. Um, where, where do they go vote? PalmettoStateArmory.com forward slash SHOT Show 2024. Okay, perfect. That's what? where you go vote. And, and what you're going to see, you're going to see a couple concepts. But we got a video up there. I think we have 15 concept guns. Okay. And it kind of introduces everybody. But absolutely, you vote your top three. And, okay. uh, and then what we're doing is rack and stacking priorities. So absolutely agree. I can't tell you how many times at other companies they say, We'd love to hear what you say. Yeah. I don't like that one, though. Like, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that's probably not as a high priority, but you're actually given a vote. And if you're lucky enough, they're going to do all of them. <laughs> because I'll tell you right now, and it's not a guarantee that they're going to do all of them. But all right, we're going to jump into it. We're going to talk about shotgun first. This is a concept gun. What do we got going on here? All right, so this is this is one of our new concept guns. Okay. So as you guys know, with Palmetto State Armory, right, we're known for AR-50s. Yeah. So we sell you a lower, we'll sell you an upper build kit, and right. you do the whole thing. Well, if you're gonna own, if you're gonna own a home defense gun, what are, what are some of the guns that come to mind? Pump shotgun. Yep. So we just took a whole new fresh look at it, and what you see here is, you know, how would you do a pump shotgun in 2024? Right. Well, of course it's optics ready. Yep, it's got to be optics ready. It's got to be easy to load, easy to manipulate. Can't be heavy because what we're seeing is a transition from being heavy, heavy guns, r recoil management. Absolutely. This gun does not weigh anything. Like it is, it is one of the lightest pump shotguns that I've picked up in quite some time. Well, so what's great about PSA, right? Yep. We've talked about the ARs and you build it yourself. Mm -hmm. The idea here is a build it yourself shotgun. Really? So what we tried to do here is take the best of all the pump shotguns and yep. innovate even further, kind of like what you were talking about. How do you yeah. modernize those controls? You know, this yeah. right here is that action release. Yeah. Okay. Right where you're used to a mag catch button on an AR-15. Right. So typical, typical 
like pump shotguns, what you'd have to do is if it's out of reach of your, you know, stumpy, stumpy fingers, um, you'd have to roll that shotgun put it, put it to pan manipulate mm. the, the Rack action. the action and get it going. And but now you don't have to because it's an index-driven Exactly, exactly. Action. And then going into how do you do that PSA thing, what's yeah. the PSA way on a pump right. shotgun? Well, what if I told you this is compatible with 870 furniture? What if so I you said this is Glock style sights? Yeah. RMR cut optic. Yeah. Everything that you're expecting from a modern firearm. Just no one's yeah. really looked at it as a shotgun in a very, very well, long time. It, it, you know, this platform, especially the pump shotgun, no one has kind of started to think about, like, well, how could we do it different? And mm -hmm. instead of a offering aftermarket, absolutely. You know, the aftermarket pieces of furniture that you could get on these and that you can manipulate and create your own i don't think there's a lot to do to this gun uh, i really i really don't like when you look at it and you feel it i don't think there's a lot maybe add a light because you got m lock mm -hmm. on the the hand guard um other than that i don't know if there's much i would do i think uh maybe an optic too how many ar-15s do you have i can't tell more you more than two well, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so you figured a so little bit differently. So what you're saying, yeah. I, so so what I you, walked into that. There you go. There okay, you go. I walked into that one, Tom. Tom kind of, I see what your process is. I see what, because I could have a home defense. I could have. Could have a bird gun, a game I gun. I see it. I could see have it. a little shockwave style gun. Oh, uh, yeah. And what's cool about this, and this is what we're trying to lean heavily into. Yeah. A lot of shotguns, you buy it, and you got to leave it the way it is. That's true. Yeah. What if I sold you a receiver? And we made it so you can install the mag tube. You can install everything just the way you want. Just the way, really? Exactly like we do on an AR-15 today. And this is a concept. So you're changing my mind because I thought I had my vote set out. But now I'm not sure. Because <laughs> of the, the, uh, of the uh, idea of a, almost a do-it-yourself shotgun. Absolutely. Well, that's why on the website poll, you yeah. can pick your number one, two, and three. Okay. So. So there's a reason why we bought three of them. These are these are voting pretty good. But there's 12 other guns. You guys got to check out on the website. And we're not going to show all 12 here, all right. just to be clear with you guys. But let's talk about our next concept gun. Let's talk about the Jackal series and kind of its history and you know where you guys kind of plan to move forward with that. Absolutely. So if you rewind the clock on the Jackal, the Jackal's original concept was kind of like that truck gun. So you see a lot of new modern carbines, and when I say modern carbines, I'm thinking, you know, generally monolithic upper, folding stock, all the new controls that everyone expects, similar to an AR, though, and taking that to, in some ways, the next level. Yeah. And so we launched it with the 5.56 gun. Uh, now we have the 5.56, the 300 blackout. Uh -huh. uh, you know, a lot of people call it, like, the next-gen carbine at home because what we, we take pride in at... Palmetto State Armory is bringing the freedom yeah. to the people. Okay. So a lot of these types of guns are two, three, four thousand dollar guns. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, and well, and what we've got here laid out before us, this is a beautiful gun. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, so walk us through it. Three oh eight, obviously. Absolutely. What What do we got going on here? Because this looks like my number one vote now. That's 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 the thing. So. With that next-gen carbine, trying to get it to everybody, as soon as we launched the 5.56, the first thing was, yeah. when's the 308? See, there's no pleasing everybody, Tom. But that's why we try to listen to them. I'm sure somebody's going to ask me about 357. Yeah. Who, who knows? Oh, yeah. But, but I think the 308's a great fit. So what we did yeah. is we took all the best stuff of the Jackal. So you, it's, this one you see is built on our AR-10 style lower. Yeah. Um, so you can take that, take the monolithic upper, and we said... Hey, what are the people? What are the people saying? They wish they wanted on yeah. the jackal. How could we have made it better? So we've got the improved ergonomics on the handguard. It's really narrow up there. Absolutely. Like I, I don't know, it, like, because they didn't like the the heft. Well, so the the heft was okay. Okay. But when you scale it up to 308, everything gets a little bigger. Right. And especially on those next gen guns, sometimes they get a little tactical tuna style. And <laughs> tactical. Wait, hold a second. Tactical tuna. You got to explain that one to me. Uh, that's the old uh, FS FS okay. 2000. So if that's you look at it, kind of looks like a tuna fish. <laughs> but <laughs> that was a new one on me. I'll be, I've never heard the tactical tuna. 
So I've, a lot of them get like they they get on the width, but then yeah. they get a little tall, right? That's right. And then everyone today wants to be able to put their lights and their lasers yeah. and their enablers, but the gun gets a little big. So what we ended up doing is we said, hey, why don't we take another look at how to make the handguard? Yeah. Now it's the same size as the 5.56 gun. Okay. So, you know, really? you're noticing, like, oh, this is, this is pretty light yeah. and handy for a 308 size gun. It is. It's lean. It feels lean. And then, like, what you got going on back here, foldable buttstock mm -hmm. and adjustable cheek piece, a yep. cheek riser. I love that. And it look and it's really easy push button absolutely up and down. Yeah, a lot of those car everyone today expects AR controls. Yes, you know full length monolithic yep. handguard, and then hey, I need a fully adjustable stock. Yep. We do that, acceptable with all your AR aftermarket triggers. You you get that next gen performance. At yeah, and it's about easy. AR price. All right, so well, this is a concept gun. Well, I want to be like. So when's it out? <laughs> so I'd love to give you a date, and I can tell you it will be a month in a year yeah. someday. Okay. But Perfect. actually, we're getting a <laughs> lot of we're getting a lot of positive feedback on this. Yeah. And going back to that, listening to the customers, we're gonna yeah. plan on giving updates. But I, I, I'm looking at the voting. We just looked yeah. at it. There's no way we're not gonna do this. Okay. Let's good. Be honest. So. <laughs> good. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Um, and sign up for the newsletter. Yep. I mean, because they're always sending updates, which is beautiful. Um, to stay up to date on the deals, all the daily deals that you guys do are absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. um, will they be able to see how the voting's going? You know, we've been talking about that as far as uh, after the show closes. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to let people know. Because, you know, there's one guy. There's probably the last ranked they gun has, know. has three votes, but absolutely. We, need, yeah. we don't want to leave them hanging. You yeah. Know, you look at a... Uh, so, before we started calling them concept guns, that's yep. how we got on the MP5 thing, right? Okay. So a lot of people are like, where's the MP5? Where's the MP5? Where's the MP5? Yep. Guys, the, to be honest, the import guns are pretty good. You and know, what we're about doing is bad. spreading freedom, providing value to the people. Hey, that's and awesome. I don't, would you rather us build an MP5 that you can buy a bunch of them or build this? We can do anything, not everything. And I'm, yeah, thinking, that's true. I'm thinking I'd rather have this. Yeah, I'd rather have that. All right, talk about... The five seven platform and what you guys have been able to do with that, because you look at what PSA launched was it last year, I'm or sorry, two years two ago? years ago? Yeah, two years ago. Yep. Uh, the five seven pistol that you guys launched is absolutely a no brainer. If you're in the market for a five seven gun, that's the one. That's one that you've got to go shoot. Absolutely. Absolutely fun. So talk about while we do a magic swap here, because <laughs> we don't touch guns on this show. Never. Okay, thank you, YouTube. <laughs> um, but talk about the 5.7 platform and its popularity and all that good stuff. Yeah, so, you know, everyone, when you think about handguns, you have uh, your 9mm striker-fired pistol. And uh, I used to work at a nice Belgian company that uh, had the 5.7 pistol. And, the, and to be honest, I think they're a great concept. Mm. The, the idea around it is awesome. So you got that light recoil. You have high capacity and a gun that's relatively shootable with pretty good ballistics. And especially with some newer shooters that might be a little recoil sensitive, Yep, it's a great option. The problem is all those guns were like over $1,000. Right. And we just, you know, at PSA, we're all about spreading freedom. How do you give somebody yeah. that experience at a price point where you're like, you know what? I was always interested in 5.7, but yeah. at this price, why not? Yeah, And for us, that's huge because right. that gets another person into the segment to learn more and be more active. You know, maybe the first handgun they shoot's 9 million, they're like, I can't do it. Yeah. But on this? This you could. Up. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. So, so this is that next step in This five, is seven. definitely the next step of 5.7. Uh, 40, how many rounds? 40? 40 rounds. 40 rounds? 40 yeah. rounds stick mags. Then. That's unbelievable. Okay. So funny story. As when I was walking, they were walking up, Logan and Tom were walking up. They pull out the jackal and they should pull out the shotgun. I'm like, those are cool. And then they pull this thing out. Totally not expected. <laughs> Did not expect to see this thing. And that's why I, like, I was like, that, this is a number one concept gun. This, this is amazing. So without, without giving out too much details on yeah. how the voting's going, this is absolutely the number one right now. Yeah. And well, look at it. And what, and what we're about and what we're trying to do now with the concept guns is engaging yeah. with people. So this was, this was an idea we always talked about. Yeah. And we're like, you know what? 
whatever, let's try it. And then literally less than a month ago, yeah. we said, hey, let's, let's make a concept. What's the worst that happens? What we weren't expecting <laughs> I mean, was it to be the number one vote. Like, the worst thing that could happen is that it was the number one in demand. And now we have to do it. But at the end of the day, if That's we're giving great. the people what they want, isn't that yeah. our job if we're about spreading freedom? Absolutely it is. All right, walk us through what you guys got going on here and what they can expect. So what we're looking at here is a very early concept, but I, I think it's got some really good bones. So like you pointed out, we're going to have 40-round stick mags. Yeah. Because why awesome. not? Yes. And then what you, what you see here, it may be subject to a little bit of a yeah. change. But in general, it's like, okay, so you got your 5.7 pistol. Yep. Great. What's your companion gun to that? Now I'm into 5.7. Yeah. I got some ammo. I really wish I had, uh, you know, something a little a little bit bigger, yeah. an easier package. Maybe something I can put an optic on yeah. and, and deploy. So what's great about this is obviously we can't touch it, yeah. but this is a deployable... Yeah, Pistol and there's a little button right, right under here. I don't know if Benjamin can get in on that, but it's right there. You depress that, it collapses, it collapses nice and easy. into a really nice package. Yep. You know, it makes it super, um, super maneuverable and yep. then, you know, easy to deploy. Yeah. But you got that 40 round capacity on tap. You got the pick rail so you can mount. If you want to put I lights, lit. it just stays right there. I bet you can just rock it well, 40 rounds. And that's the beauty of 5.7. Yeah, so I know. You, you put it that in a little light handy package and what's what's kind of cool about this is you'll see like it takes AR charging handles. I, why I, not? That's what I everybody that. already knows. Yeah. You know you know the controls. Absolutely. Like so we we keep it pretty simple. You know, right here is essentially our striker fired pistol mech that we put inside. Okay. And then we said, Okay, how do you adapt that into something more deployable? And as the proof of concept, it's really just a repackaged pistol. Jeez. Now we uh, will there's likely a lot more than uh, we'll likely end up refining it a little bit yeah. more and a little bit more. And well, I think that's more. on any concept guns. That's what you got to expect. Like, but this is, like you said, the bones of what you could expect uh, to come out with. Absolutely, and and I think uh, based on the interest, there might be a few versions of things we have to come good. out with. But that's the idea. You know, the audio industry does a good job of like throwing something out there yeah. and seeing if it sticks. And I'm here to tell you, this Boy, one's pretty sticky. That this one's sticky. The Jackal 308 is sticky. The shotgun, that you sold me. You sold me on the DIY shotgun, and that might have to be my number one vote. I think. I think what's interesting about the shotgun and like the voting's doing okay on the yeah. shotgun until you pick it up and hand it to somebody, and they go, "Wait, you can do this on a shotgun?" See. You got to touch it. You got to feel it Absolutely. to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So where do they go vote? So if you go on the website, so okay. palmettostatearmory.com, right at the top, there's a banner. But if you want to go direct, palmettostatearmory.com forward slash SHOT Show 2024. All right, Tom, thanks for joining us. Um, man, we're going to be back later on this afternoon. I'm starving. I'm sure Tom is too. We're going to go grab a bite to eat. We'll be back this afternoon. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.